the clink. Can Baboka help him out? The answer is definitely not, or maybe he can, but no. Abra will find him with the plasma field and that final right click once again. And this T1 tower, I mean, it was a solid plan they were going for, but they're going to lose a very, very early T1. That is not great news for Astor. Meanwhile, Chuan does end up finding 458 in the mid lane, though there will be a trade. The Tusk will go down. Certainly, though, Astor are going to be very happy about getting that Ember pick off. Chuan is still perfectly fine in the mid lane. Well, top lane, bit of action, Baboka will end up falling. Abra did manage, no, in fact, he didn't get the banner in, and now he's going to lose his life. The tag team will be there. XXS picks that one up for himself. In fact, but the silence was there on time, so he couldn't actually throw out the stun. Now they're going to go after Polison once again. Polison probably happily dying there, although the rest of his team, probably not so much. 458 will end up dying again. Meanwhile, 1437. I mean, it's such a slow walk away. And XXS, a triple kill for him. Stop. Nobody really jumping in on him quite yet. Now Velo, he will come, but Boca with the quick BKB. The Bash of the Deeps will hold him in place. He drops the Serp Wars onto Abra, but doesn't get the trap off. And somehow, Astor are coming out behind on this team fight so far. So, Juan will jump in. Impel did not connect from Polison. He does get Yules up now. Abra moving back in there. The Sonic Wave coming out from Juan. Just hitting three heroes, and they got Abra as well. They found another one as well. 1437 will get caught out. That is just really upsetting there for the side of Tigers. Such a. 1437 gets caught out once again. XXS. Burst him down. Meanwhile, the, the, the back lines, they've started a team fight. The Sonic Wave coming in. The save on Baboka with that snowball. 458. Oh, XXS found him. There is another remnant there, but he gets silenced up and he gets taken down once again. We'll just stand underneath the healing ward for the moment and heal up. Well, nice stun off onto the jug. In fact, he's losing a lot of HP. Velo jumps in and takes him out. That was just the ages, however. They'll have to do it one more time. He'll spin immediately. Now XXS, he'll jump in. Again, the target is just 1437 and he's gone. Now the chains is nice. They're trying to burst down Jay and they do do so. 458, a great job from him. But is it going to be enough? He's going down. No buyback available. They will buy back on arrows in the mid lane. Chuan, he's stuck around. The Burrow Strike will come out. Now it looks like he will end up going down. The Reaper Scythe will get the job done. Bit of a mistake from him to run back towards that T1 tower, but he wanted to get that Dragon Slave off before he backed out. Now the Barashok again coming out onto Baboka and 1437. He comes in with the Magic Missile and they end up taking another out. They really don't want to give up this mid T1, but... Not only are you going to lose that T1 tower, you're going to lose two heroes in the process. In fact, they're going to lose more right now. I'm not sure why you stick around here if you're on the side of Astor. They're going to try and defend this regardless. They move in, the chains are there. They get the war stop off as well, but Boca, they might find 1437. And they will do so. And yet, well, here comes Jay. Goes straight onto the Necrophos. Ghost form will be used immediately. And now the war being dropped. XXS did not get the vacuum, however. And they find Abra. He has Battle Trance available. Meanwhile, who have they caught there? It will be the Bane once again going down. So they've got Abra. He commits the Battle Trance. Now the Doom, again, a bit too late. And with that, that's just a waste of Doom right there. Jay, he's in trouble. He dodges as much damage as he can. They'll finally find Abra. Polison's going to survive. There's the Vacuum. These Iron Shells, so much damage with a double Light Strike away from Chuan. And Velo, he has the Epicenter out, but it's just a bit too late to the party, I feel. In fact, Boca trying to run his way out of that Sandstorm, he will make it as well. I'm not sure about this one. Jay... Waiting. War has been dropped. They do swap. It looks like it is going to be the Darkseer who gets taken out though. No, he's not dead yet. There's the Nightmare. Roshan still going down. Meanwhile, Laguna Blade being thrown out onto Polison. 1437 now going to be the target. And XXS still alive somehow. They got the Doom off onto the Necrophos. And Velo's also going to drop. Meanwhile, the Roshan still going down. Abra, he's trying to sneak it underneath everyone's noses. And it looks like he is going to be able to grab it in time. 
They had to do a double take there. They didn't believe he actually finished the Roshan. Now a double Barrow Strike coming out and the buyback from Velo. XXS actually ends up dropping. Tron meanwhile being chased down and should end up falling as well. He gets a double stun off, but the magic missile will follow. He gets the use to dodge, but he is surrounded and he does go down. And light strike array as well. They're really fighting over these though for J. We'll go in. Nice Doom was there onto the Necrophos, and it looks like he should be able to finish the job off. They even found Polison here. In fact, oh, Abra, he gets caught out with the Fiend's Grip. That is really bad news, but a nice swap does come out. Can he get the Battle Trance off? It looks like he already used it earlier on. He will end up going down. Now 1437, the only man left standing there. He's gone as well. In fact, never mind, there was still Bello around the area. It's going to be a full team wipe almost. Bello, he gets dusted up, but he is trapped. There's the vacuum to break the tree line, and he is gone. Full team wipe for the side of Aston. Very awkward position here for the side of Asta because they've got to run up the high ground. They will get there. Polison though gets started immediately. Now the Epi Burrow Strike all onto the Bane. The nice war being dropped. It won't be enough to burst down the Leshrac. XXS, he's going to be the one in trouble just being ensnared in Reaper's Scythe. He will go down. Polison finally losing his life. But the thing is, Baboka has also been trapped in the tree line. It looks like he's dead as well. Jay has a double damage. Could deal a hell of a lot with that, but it wants to get out. The rest of Asta still moving forward, however. They are going to find the Necro, though. Nice swap will be there from 1437. They do end up taking him out, though. Twine is falling very low. More buybacks coming out. Twine is gone now. There goes the Bane as well. More buybacks from the side of Asta this time around. Who wants to actually commit this team to this team fight any longer? It looks like Asta do. They will end up finding 458, though. The Guiding Greaves will ward off the chains. And in fact, nice borrow from Velo on the double. He will find Baboka, and that's going to be a dieback on the Doom. A risky take fight to take and well 1437 he would at least save Velo and apparently be able to walk out for the moment in fact no he does go down Polison Beans Grip was on him and they commit the Laguna for that kill as well so two heroes down for the side of Tigers now and Jay immediately with that surge trying to find more 458 would be very nice to find indeed and they get the Doom off as well a nice play meanwhile the back lines they found a kill onto the Bane with the Epicenter Burrow Strike but that's not really going to matter it's just a Bane Jay trying to find Abra right now the Aegis is still available meanwhile Velo copying a fair bit of damage from the low ground from Tuan Velo should end up falling right now and he does though Abra is going to be a different story he has BKB Satanic and Aegis and he will commit the BKB and Battle Trance for the moment uh, Jay. Yeah, okay. Light Strike Array did not actually end up connecting. The wall was not great either. And yeah, to save him for the moment. They also do have Stampede available. He disrupts himself as well, just delaying all this. Now the Stampede Hoof Stomp. They get the Oracle. Now the OD, though, falling pretty low. In fact, that was a Morphing, though. The back wall is nice. Up to four heroes. And the Sonic Wave comes in as well. That is really bad news for the side of Tigers. They're going to lose two. It's probably going to be three or four at this rate. Four, five, eight. The only man left around that area, and he goes down. Velo, he's so low. This could be really poor timing or really great timing, though smoke has been broken by Velo. Now Baboka will jump in, straight onto 1437, the hoof stomp wasn't even there, it was there in the back lines. It looks like Abra automatically BKBs and Battle Trance is up, and well the Sonic Wave doing a lot of damage, but Abra will not die through that Battle Trance. Now Jay just morphing into the Queen of Pain and using that blink against them. Now back wall again being used, XXS, 458 is going to go down here, it looks like he gets used up, he can't TP away, and he is dead. No buyback available on the Troll Warlord, and Polison's about to get caught out as well. Trying to get away, but we'll end up going down. The buybacks will come out immediately, but this could be one final team fight here, if Asta does choose to, to continue moving forward. They are a bit low in HP, but they must know that Abra's buyback is not there. And in fact, well, 1437 just gets deleted. Bello. Will not be able to throw the hoof stomp out. There's an ultra kill right now on the morphing. They want that rampage. 458 is going to be the target. They won't quite find it though. They might go for Velo instead. Can he find a J? Trying his best, and he will find the rampage. That'll be the first one of the league that we've seen, by the way. XXS though. Rax is going to go down very easily.
Tigers. This could be the final defense for them. They'll move in with the disruption. The Avalanche toss the Boboka again setting up. 1437 deleted. The VAC war is there. Sanity's Eclipse being dropped, and they do find Jay, but he just buys back immediately. Sonic Wave's there on 458. He tries to Astral. I don't think he survives this. He's right next to the fountain, but it won't matter. The Avalanche toss, but Boker again, and that's GG well played. A full